think last year was, was a, an outstanding year for our program. Certainly 23 wins, uh, 10 ACC wins, uh, you know, final four in the NIT, and, and the enthusiasm with those games at home at the end of the season. I think fans really rallied around our team and, and uh, appreciated a group of guys that came together and played extremely well, played extremely hard, and, and overachieved in a lot of people's minds. Uh, we had a young man who had a breakout season, first team all ACC, which is rare at Clemson. Uh, you know, drafted into the NBA and achieved a lifelong dream. And then we had a young, another young man in our program, uh, you know, achieve a dream in terms of Earl Grant becoming a head coach at the College of Charleston. So I think you saw just about success in every aspect of our program. I'm very excited about the recruits we brought in, the way the recruits are going. And certainly, I'm blessed to have been uh, given a contract extension and a, and a vote of confidence from uh, our administration that they like what's happening in our program. You know, I said a couple of years ago, even though the wins weren't what we wanted them to be, there was a lot more positive things happening within our program that people realized. And it was good to see some of that come to fruition last year with success both on and off the court. Since you brought up a couple guys that aren't here anymore, could you maybe just uh, thoughts on uh, KJ, just what he meant, the national exposure, the NBA draft, yeah. what that means to the program moving forward? Well, it means a lot. Uh, certainly, you know, KJ wasn't a guy that, that people expected to make the NBA when he got here. He was an unheralded recruit that you know, we feel like we put a, uh, had a place to be. We're a big part of him making it to that level. So I think our development with him, our belief in him, uh, and his work ethic, you know, allowed him to get to a, a level probably even faster than we all believe. Uh, so it certainly gives you credibility out on the recruiting trail that those kinds of things can happen within your program. I mean, he had an incredible season last year. Sometimes I don't even think people and the media and the fans really understood what kind of impact he had to be one of the five best players in the ACC last year. A little bit out of nowhere. Um, I mean, he was a heck of a player. He certainly. I would much rather be talking about him as a player on this year's team than in Philadelphia. But uh, having said that, uh, I'm really happy for him and look forward to seeing him do well the next level. Does everyone else recognize, hey, now I've got to pick up my end of the slot? Yeah, definitely. Uh, KJ, you know, we're going to miss the 8 to 10 points that no one in the ACC or maybe in the country can replace and him just dunking the ball or just blocking a shot or momentum and things like that. But. I think guys see what he did for our team, and other guys are going to step up. I mean, DeMarcus has to play well, like it did the last 12 games of last year. Rod has to be steady, maybe add a couple more points. Um, and then Juqua and uh, Dante really have to step up. And then our inside guys, uh, Blossom has had a great summer um, after his uh, little leg. Uh, injury at the end of the NIT run. Um, he's been in the gym the most, shooting the ball, and in our workouts, he's shooting the ball really well. And uh, when our foreman can step out, shoot the ball, and spread the court, uh, that's when we're really good. Uh, and then obviously Landry in the middle is going to uh, hopefully demand uh, some more attention. He's ready for it, and uh, he's been really working hard this summer. He had a little meniscus uh, surgery in May, so we took uh, a little easy, um, and then he really rehabbed fire out of it, and uh, he's ready to go. He looks great right now, so we're excited about it. When you look at Landry's progress last year, how does he take that next step through his off-season training to, to be not just you know a nice role center kind of guy, but like the feature of, uh, on both ends of the floor? Yeah, it started um, this summer, and then actually uh, you can do team workouts after September 15th. and. Uh, Coach Burnell and uh, when we did some different uh, sets and or just up and down, we kind of just went some four round one. Uh, and he's going to be a main focal point. The first thing we wanted to look is you know Landry and how he's getting played, and uh, then we kind of play off that. So he's going to get some opportunities, and I think he's ready for it. Uh, I think you saw it last year; just it was unbelievable. Just the confidence grew. You almost could see it in his eyes. By the end of the year, uh, he was getting um, some double teams and things like that. So we got to be smart. Can't force it. Um, we always like feeding the ball from the top because there's no help. And uh, he really works. And Jerron's doing a good job of feeding the ball in the early uh, season workouts to him. Our fours need to be good feeders to the five. That helps uh, space the court. And then when you see some help, you got to skip and drive it and be ready to knock down your shots. So, uh, Big emphasis, obviously, with Landry, it was just kind of getting more physical and getting seals. Um, he's really working on that with City. And then um, our shooting. That was a big emphasis this spring, uh, this summer. 
but now in the fall, uh, we got to be a good shooting team. Um, and guys are improving on that. And you can see it. We had multiple guys uh, make threes uh, in all our workouts, like five, six guys make threes. So that's going to help our team, too. Uh, obviously, you know, coming in being a new guy a couple of years ago, I mean, trying to figure things out, how things are done, and, and trying to do things the, the Brad Brownell way. Uh, I think uh, we kind of figured that out some. Uh, feel a lot more comfortable going in. Uh, just overall, just knowing what he wants and what he expects on and off the court. Uh, I feel very comfortable with everything. How was Rod, you know, to develop into a player, especially as you know, a kid you know, around I think Rod's done a great job. I was talking to somebody earlier about that. Rod is, he's one of the guys that we've put together, you know, pick up, the orchestra guys are where they're supposed to be, getting guys in the room, getting guys in the way. Rod had a very good season at the CP3 camp. You know, he got a lot of positive feedback back out of the camp. KJ kind of did it a year, a year before when he went to uh, Kevin Durant and LeBron James. So uh, Rod had a good opportunity to do it. Chris Paul was some of the quote unquote top point guards in the country, did very well up there. So I think he's coming back with a boost of confidence himself. And I think he's very confident in the team. Both of the markets have more experience. I mean, what, when you looked at their tape from last year, where did their skills, where could their skills grow heading into this next season? I think overall, uh, just leadership. You know, we talk about different skill sets as a player, but we talk about toughness and competing. Rod, toughness is a skill. And that's something that we try to identify and recruit, uh, how hard guys work, how tough they are. Rod has some toughness. That's his biggest thing, but I think just taking the next step and being a little bit more bold. Because uh, guys respect him and guys follow him, and he's got to be a little bit more bold with those guys. That's for him. Demarcus Harrison, just a little bit more consistent. See, he, he's got to also be a little bit more vocal, but just continue to be a little more consistent. Last year, he was kind of up and down, but uh, just being a little bit more consistent is what he needs to grow. To be honest, you know, Coach Brown and I, during the interview process, and, you know, when you hire somebody, I think you discuss what is expected of them. And, you know, I think my role on this team, and similar to the role that I've had throughout my coaching career, is, you know, be that young, energetic guy. You know, very good relationship with their current players. Uh, obviously, recruiting is a huge part of my job. You know, it's important to bring in high character guys. That obviously, are very talented guys as well. I mean, it's huge. We play in the best basketball league in America. I think if I sit here and said recruiting wasn't very important, you know, it, it wouldn't make a lot of sense. So obviously, that's important. And you know, just you know, just coming in, and you know, I think a lot of pride as well. And you know, I think recruiting is something probably that I would be known for if you talk to people in basketball circles. But I take a lot of pride in being a basketball coach. You know, I love coaching on the floor, you know, individual improvement, getting our guys better. You know, and like I said at, at the first, um, relationships are huge. And that's, that's one of the things. I'm recruiting new guys, you know, new student athletes to come to Clemson. I'm working that hard, obviously, right now. It's a huge period for us. But I'm also recruiting, building relationships with their current guys. I mean, coming in this time of year, it's important for those guys to know that I care about them, and I'm going to be a guy that they can, you know, trust and build a great relationship with. Have you gotten to talk to the guys a bunch? Because, you know, you just kind of popped in, and you've already been on the road a bunch and trying to get settled. I have. I, I made it a point as soon as I got the job. You know, I communicated with those guys and just told them how excited I was to get an opportunity to coach. I mean, I watched Clemson from afar last year when I was coaching at UAB. Just have a ton of respect for you know the type of kids that were here. You know, I was in the, the Charleston Classic where Clemson played last year at UAB. We played in, so I got to see them play a couple of times on TV. But the, the character of our kids here is unbelievable. You know, a great a great part of it. So when I text them all and contact them once I got the job officially, every guy on our team texted me back and said, "Man, coach, you know, congratulations! Can't wait to get to know you. Looking forward to you coaching me." That meant a lot to me. I mean, so yes, I've definitely started building those relationships and spending time with the guys. You know, every second I've been on campus, and I don't have to do all the orientation, all that type of stuff. You know, I've, I've spent that time with the guys. Have you and Brad? Did you and Brad?